previously on Minecraft Story Mode. The Admin, a villain who can become anyone with a wave of his hand. How do you face a bow who's never exactly as he seems? Do you refuse to hide who you really are? Even when it might be a better idea to stay <laughs> under the radar? Not everyone can face a trickster head on. Some join him. Others put on a brave face, even when they're scared. No matter what, encountering that kind of evil changes you. It can turn you into a hero. Or something else. If there's a lesson to be learned, it's be careful when you get close to an admin. You never know what might happen if you dig too deep. Everyone, everybody safe? Yeah, everyone except Nurm. Duh, can't believe you left him behind for some useless llama. She's not some useless llama. Looks pretty useless to me. Nurm wanted to stay, Jack. You have to respect that. Well, you should have stopped him. First world, created by us, Romeo, Fred, and me. Haven't seen it since I was imprisoned, before he bedrocked over it all. You made this? Not this. This shadow. The view from up here. It used to be beautiful. So you say. This is way worse than I imagined. That he'd do something like this to his own world. How did nobody know about this? It's just been down here this whole time? Romeo didn't want anyone to know. Wanted people to forget. He probably wants to forget about it, too. I knew what Romeo planned to do. But still, seeing it like this... Romeo? The admin. Oh! It's worse than I imagined. This is the room where he killed Fred. I watched it happen. We refused to join him, and it was slow. Oh, boy. He needs to be stopped. That's why we're here. He hurt you, and he'll hurt more people. I wonder if he had a heart at all, or he was just a monster pretending to play along. Fred's keep is that way. Want to defeat Romeo? The weapon's in there. That sounded vaguely ominous. Is that...? That is the biggest Enderman I've ever seen. Romeo never could live well enough alone. He liked toying with the basic order of things. So that thing is another admin created monstrosity. Time to move, guys. <gasps> so mesmerizing. Not in the eyes, Radar. Don't look at its eyes. Oh, sorry, Jesse. I don't know what happened. It was just hypnotic. So big and glowy. Go, go! Going! Thank you. Dismantle it! 
entering the tower. Not asking for me, cause cause I'm tough. Whatever. Our defenses are impressive. State of the art machinery, automated farming. The oasis is a completely self-sustaining city. It's home. What? What happened to it? Are you okay? I'm so sorry. I can only imagine if I saw Beacon Town like this. Save your pity. Wait. This is your town? What has he done to it? Hang on. I just need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town. And they'll all think it's me. Oh, get out of here, you fucking carpet. <laughs> Eat yourself. You, uh, okay there, Jack? No, this dumb stack of wool won't leave me alone. <laughs> Disgusting spit everywhere, not good for anything. No useful skills, can't make maps. Hey, I get that you're upset, but would you stop taking it out on the poor llama, please? I do, I... Oh, I just, I want to... I'm sorry. I think I let my mighty emotions get the better of me there. Sorry, Luna. <laughs> We'll get Nurm back, Jack. I don't know how yet, but we're not gonna forget him. Yeah, I, uh... I appreciate that, Jesse. Years without sleep! Years! <laughs> Only rest is at home. Won't rest until I get there, I said! Zara? <gasps> Look! At... This! My bed! Come on! She's freaking out about a bed? Really? Could she be any more melodramatic? <sighs> wow. Come on, guys. Be nice. I'm being as nice as I possibly can. No, no, you're right. Sorry, Jesse. I just wanted to sleep. I thought if I could find this one thing, one last thing still whole, there's no hope for this place. I'll never get it back now. You made sure. I know you're upset, but you can sleep once we've defeated the admin. That has to come first. So simple for you. Has not dried out. Stuck open. Gross.
Zara? What are you doing over here by this, uh... It's a portal. What? The portal. Broken now, like everything else. Just leave me here. Go. Don't lose hope, okay? We can still do this, if you help us. I doubt that. But what about the portal? Where does it go, anyway? Nowhere, obviously. It's broken. We built these so we could visit each other. An object in the frame would teleport you to the owner. My idea, by the way. Though Romeo took credit for it. Fred wanted to add the birch. He loved birch. So you'd know how to rebuild it. And get us up to the admin. I don't know if I can. Well, if you don't fix it, then we're stuck down here. Can't get up to the prison. You really want to live here, in the dark, forever? You make it sound so appealing. We don't have any other options here. I don't get it. Why don't you keep going? Look where you are, but you're still fighting. Why? Because the admin can't win, Zara. I won't let him. Not after everything he's done. If Fred's weapon can take him down, I'm gonna find it. Fine. It won't work without a personal object. Something with a strong bond to Romeo to take us right to him. Though an object crafted on the surface could do in a pinch. Let me worry about finding an object for the portal. You just focus on getting it running. Follow the tracks. They'll lead you to Fred's keep. Whatever Fred found, he hid it at home. That's what he told me. Jesse! Go. I'll see what I can do. We'll find the weapon. Kind of useless unless we can find a way out of here. Can't exactly go back up through that prison. Zara's got it covered. Oh, great. Just what this place is needed. Run on ahead! Down there, pulling you up. You 
should help us because it's the right thing to do. If you see someone in trouble, you have to do something. You think any of this down here is right? <laughs> right went out the window with the rest of the sky. What? Uh, maybe I do feel a little sorry for you, though. Here's the deal, folks. Down here, we don't do anything for free. Can't really blame us, what with the giant monsters and nothing growing. So, how about we take your inventory for a spin? Permanently! We're really interested in any weaponry you may have. <sighs> a warrior without their sword in a place like this is dead meat! Your friend doesn't look like he's gonna last much longer. What'll it be? Don't do it, Jesse. We can find another way. Your swords or splat! Flatter than a lily pad at the bottom of this canyon. <laughs> Here! And one more makes two. Fine, but pull me up first. Okay, that's it. What happened up there? Oh, we got shaken down by a couple of scavengers, and they took our swords. Well, at least you're okay, right? I guess. Just haven't felt this pathetic since... Well, it's been a long time. Now we've got nothing to protect us against a normal Enderman, let alone a giant one. Well, I mean, it's not the first time we've been seemingly defenseless. Hey, I did it to save your life, Jack. I had it taken care of. You were hanging off of a cliff. <laughs> well, I mean, I, you know, I... Guess this is how they keep the mobs out. Come in peace. We're not gonna hurt you, I promise. We've been told that before. Fred, Fred, Fred believed it. Then he was stabbed in the back. Now what? I've never seen you before, and, and I know everyone. Everyone in the underneath. Vinta! She's not coming back, is she? Someone in there has to know where that weapon is. Let's go. Careful. They might be well-armed and... Now they know we're coming. Have been returned. Festivities will close with the fireworks display as usual. And don't forget to sign up for our Faithful Friends of Fred trivia competition for a chance to win one night in Fred's house. 
Come on, people. We can't let Kent win every time, can we? Study up. Competition starts at red o'clock. Why did I say that? They're having a trivia contest? Doesn't that seem a little silly? Silly? We're trapped underground with a bunch of monsters. Oh, man, I love trivia. You do? Yes! It's so fun! Flexing those brain muscles, taking your mind off the incredible misery in the world, crushing down on you every... I mean, uh... Oh, look at that. Welcome to Fred's Keep. My name is Binta. This is the part where you tell me why you're here. We're looking for a weapon that belonged to Fred. It's supposed to be hidden in his home. Maybe we could take a look? Fred's house is sacred. And locked. No one enters unless they win the contest. No one. It's how we honor Fred. Even I only enter through its doors on special occasions. Okay, let's do some trivia then. <laughs> That's the spirit. I wasn't sure an outsider would understand. Fred built this place, made it safe from all the monsters out there. This is his legacy, his final request. The door stays locked until someone wins. You're welcome to try your luck. See how well you know Fred. I don't know him very well at all. I, I've never met him. Guess you better start researching. Good luck. This place is weird. Cute. Oh, you're a good dog. You're a good dog. <laughs> oh, man, you are a serious fetch artist. Fred like to paint with his feet? Nope. Hurt my painting hands going out into the wilds beyond the keep. Nasty stuff out there. Should have listened. Not safe to wander. That's why no one ever leaves. Taught myself to paint like this. But these old dogs aren't up to crafting. How about we make a trade? You craft me a canvas, and I'll tell you Fred's favorite color. You know... I got some wool, but not enough sticks. You'll have to find some more to get it done. Get that done prompt-like. <laughs> I'm on a roll, and this one's almost finished. You got it. So that's Fred, huh? Uh, uh, oh, just trying to figure out if, if there's a better way into Fred's house than, well, studying, just in case. Hey, um, Jesse? Yeah? Do you think Radar still thinks, I don't know, uh, I feel like everyone's looking at me differently. You noticed it too, right? He's being weird with me, like, like he thinks I'm still, still with the admin or something. Hey, I know you better than anyone, right? You're still the same Petra you've always been. <laughs> Hard-headed? <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. That makes me feel better. Just had to 
you know, make sure I wasn't the only one who noticed. Hi, um... Oh, you want to know something about Fred? Uh, yeah, actually. How did you... His favorite tool? A diamond hole. That's why I use two. And why I take farming my mushrooms super, super seriously. For serious. Cool. Yeah, sure. Makes sense. Uh, bye. Creepers never even stood a chance. The leader of Dreshnajel Valley was not an emotional man. But that day, that day, he shed a tear. That's one way to gather information, I guess. For information about Fred. Well, this here was Fred's cherished pet, but you'll never guess his name. Never. You stay in there now. Don't want that dog getting you now, do we? How can I get him to call out that chicken's name? Never make a decision. Poor fella. these. Keep her all, you know, kind of broken. But I wonder what this place looked like before. Bet it was amazing. The admin's not gonna do this to Beacon Town, is he? You have no idea what he's doing up there. It could be all gone. If he does anything to Beacon Town, then I'm gonna be the one to make him pay. You're, uh, kind of scary sometimes. In a good way. Look, if there's one thing I learned in the Slammer, it's that I have to keep my body ready for anything. Uh, one, uh, two, uh, and a half. Uh, hey, Luna, come give me a, give me a hoof. Uh, weight resistance, you know. Hey, uh, uh, oh boy. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, baby, feel that burn. Oh, feel it. I'm feeling it. Feeling it. All right. 
right, time to make a painting. Here you go, all done. <gasps> it's just lovely. I am going to paint this Fred's favorite color. Not just any blue, lapis blue. Lapis blue. Oh, same color as my underwear. Mine too. <laughs> So... So you're the one. The one who thinks they can beat me as a faithful friend of Fred. Hey, dude. And I'll tell you something, stranger. I am the most faithful friend of Fred, which means I always win. And that means you will lose. So good luck. I don't even know what to do with that one. Are. are you ready to begin? I'm ready. Let's do this. It's about time. Attention, everyone! Let all faithful friends of Fred gather, for our competition begins now! Gather round, everyone. Will the contestants please take the stage? Please welcome reigning champion, Kent. And we have a challenger. Uh... Jesse. It's Jesse. Jesse! That feeling of intimidation? Totally normal. I have that effect on people. It comes from being the best. What a pinnacle of intellectual fortitude. Kent, be my best friend! May the most faithful friend of Fred win. Oh, I will. For our first question, I thought we'd mix it up a little. I challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah! Jesse's the best at building! Not the time, Radar. Begin! Yes, yes, yes! Jesse, it's as if you've known Fred his whole life. What? How can you say that? That, that thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred's true spirit didn't lie with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. Though, I must give you points for accuracy. Such 
painstaking detail. I declare this round a draw! What? This was quite possibly the best presentation of Reds in the history of our competition. Now for the questions. Kent, you will go first. Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread. Correct! Now you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue. We all know that. But what kind of blue did he love the most? Your time begins now. Come on, Jesse, you can do this! His favorite color was lapis blue. That is correct! Well done! Next question. Kent, Fred was a man of simple means, but he had one point of excess. His favorite tool. What was it? A diamond hoe. Obviously. Very good! Jesse, Fred had a constant companion, a fine, feathery friend. <laughs> What was that pet's name? We actually met a chicken named Benedict once. <laughs> really? Fred's pet, his best friend, was named Waffles. For the way he was always waffling. That is correct! Jesse, well done! I am rather astounded that the competition continues to be this close. Kent. You might finally lose your title. <laughs> Listen closely, both of you. The final question is one that only the most faithful friend to Fred could possibly know. As such, it is worth double. Whoever answers this question correctly first will win one night in Fred's house. Of all the trees in the forest, of all the wood we once built our homes with. This was Fred's favorite. What was it? Wait, what? Uh, no one knows that. Uh, Fred didn't play favorites with resources. It's Birch. It's Birch! You, uh... Yes! Yes! Birch was Fred's favorite! That's right! Jesse won! <laughs> Way to go, Jesse! Congratulations! That was very impressive. I'm sure I'm not the only one surprised by this turn of events. As your prize, you will spend one night in Fred's house. Be careful not to disturb its contents. And here are your sleeping garments. The true <laughs> mark of Fred. Only the champion gets to wear these. It's a very special privilege. I love them, thank you. Jesse, I hope you find what you're looking for. Hmm, kind of cozy. Okay, if I were a weapon of some sort, where would I be? Blue really is Fred's favorite color. Even the bed's blue. The foundation. Whoa, half the pages are gone. And the rest, there are a lot of notes. Secret room. There's got to be something down here.
three towns. There's the oasis there and the keep. Third is Romeoburg. Seriously? What kind of name is Romeoburg? This one is called The Survivor's Book of Secrets. Okay, secrets are good. This book contains the collective knowledge of the survivors. We're an underground group of survival experts who have been around since the early days. Yeah, it goes on. Signed by the chief. I know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Zara and Romeo with me. Th this is Fred's journal. I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. We weren't just happy there. We were home. Wait. Home. And he wasn't talking about here. There wasn't a cabin on the map, though. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something. Vinta! Jesse, I... There's something I need to ask you about. Um... How did you know the answer to that last question? It's not common knowledge, and it was shared with me in great confidence before... I knew because Zara told me. She knew Fred better than anyone. Zara? As in, Fred's Zara. The Zara. The one and only. She hasn't been seen down here in a very, very long time. You're more impressive than you seem. Maybe they're right after all. Maybe you are from above the bedrock. Rumors have been going around since your arrival. Your friend Jack spoke of all these lands we've never heard of. Yeah, about that. Well, did you at least find what you were looking for? This weapon? I don't know why Fred would have one. Not the weapon exactly, but some promising clues. Romeo, Zara, and Fred had a cabin that they called home. We need to find it. Romeo? Did they say Romeo? The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now he's in our town, pretending to be me. We need to stop him. The problem is we don't know where the cabin is. I want to help you, but there's something I need from you in return. If you're really from up there, then you must have a way back. Take us with you, above the bedrock. Above? Vinta, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. We're safe here. And if Romeo... You welcomed us in. Of course we'll help you. Thank you. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. They'll come around. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future is up there. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the Oasis. Fred left this to me before he... <laughs> the needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They've got a massive army, so be careful. Please, take good care of it. You've shown I can trust you to respect Fred's memory. You didn't have to do this. Thank you, really. You're very welcome. I'll prepare my people. You take these. Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Great, you're here. We've got a new destination, so... You go on ahead. I, uh... 
I'm gonna stay here, see what I can do to help. What? No, Jack, we have to stick together. Not this time. We're the best chance they've got to get out. Us and that portal Zara's fixing. I can do some good here. Help Binta convince them. You're a good guy, Jack. Helping these people is the right thing to do. Thank you, Jesse. I hoped you'd see it that way. Friends don't leave friends behind. It won't be for long. Once you get the weapon, we'll get out of here. Just like we planned. You're not even gonna let us try to change your mind, are you? No. Petra, I... Whatever. We'll see you at the Oasis. When you set off that firework Binta gave you, I'll come running. And hopefully I'll have a few new friends with me. That's so funny when someone else does it, huh? <laughs> Come here. My name's Jesse. <clears throat> and you are? <clears throat> Come on, seriously, who are you? I am a shadow. Sent to eliminate all imposter Jessies. But, but I am Jesse! Oh, really? Then prove it. Tell me something that only Jesse would know. Alright, you want to know something only Jesse could know? I hate quartz! Really? What's wrong with quartz? I don't know, it just feels weird. It's from the nether. Oof, gives me the creeps. Nope! Sorry, I'm not convinced. Sword time! Say your goodbyes, imposter! Are you kidding me? Why even ask me a question then? Yes. I'd recognize that exasperated confusion anywhere. You are the real Jesse! It can't be. Ivor? <clears throat> yes. It is I. Your friend Ivor. I'm a ninja now, Jesse! <laughs> what? Yeah, what? It all started when I fell through a portal into some sort of strange world. Everything was all white. Master Shadow's domain. He claimed he was a ninja master, a practitioner of the shadow arts. At first, I wanted nothing to do with him. He was a very suspicious character. But eventually, after a lot of uncomfortable eye contact, he asked me, me, to be his pupil. 
I was confused at first because he didn't exactly present his credentials or curriculum, but I'm always open to learning. I'm a student of life after all. So I said yes. Before I knew it, I was punching trees, cleaning floors, all as part of my so-called training. At first, it seemed pointless. But after I had punched a forest's worth of trees and cleaned miles and miles of floor, two things became clear. Sometimes, doing menial tasks can be an amazing way to learn martial arts. And sometimes, strange old men just like tricking people into doing their housework. <laughs> anyway, it all worked out because now I'm a ninja. And my newfound ninja skills helped me find my way to you. Are you... Uh, are you done? Please? Please be done? Huh, yes! I suppose I'm doing a lot of talking. I just had a lot to say after all of that quiet and mysterious business. It's so good to see you. This is insane. Oh, you know you missed me. Nope, really did not. Not even a little bit. I see a smile. Get in here, Petra! What? No, no. So awesome. But seriously, what are you doing down here? Let me explain. You see, it all started when Harper and I returned from our vacation. We discovered that while we were gone, you had mysteriously vanished after fighting a prismarine giant named the Admin. Right. Only to return, having defeated this Admin and taken his amazing powers. Wait, what? Yeah, that's not right. I mean, you didn't believe it, right? I did it first. How could I not? Looked like you, sounded like you, except now you could fly around and had all sorts of cool superpowers. Jesse, a.k.a. the admin, gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud, a.k.a. you. But with my new ninja senses, <clears throat> I could tell something wasn't right. Anyone who disagrees, anyone who questions Jesse, disappears. Oh, they must hate me. It's certainly not helping your reputation. No, but I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that. That's why I decided to try and use this opportunity to discover the truth. Luckily, it worked out because I would have felt terrible about killing you. Classic thing to say to your friends. I can tell you're being sarcastic. But you'd be surprised. Wait, 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 wait. If you weren't convinced, you would have killed me? The admins turned everything upside down, Jesse. It's very confusing up there. Speaking of whom, I can't spend much more time down here. If I don't get back to the prison soon and report in, the admin will know that something isn't right. That's perfect. You can make up a lie and you'll never suspect that I'm actually down Which here. will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon. Hold on! How'd you know about I'm that? I'm a ninja. Anyway, that plan is all well and good. But what exactly should I tell the admin? It needs to be plausible, but dramatic. Yeah, believable, but entertaining. I tell him that I escaped, but that you tracked me down and took me out. Yes, I'm sure he'll be delighted by the description of our epic confrontation. Your final desperate struggles to cling to a fading reality. You're a real poet, Ivor. Ninja! I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I must go. Go. We'll see you when we get back to the surface. No, oh, wait, can I borrow that amulet? Certainly, but why? <laughs> Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Please hurry. It's getting dire up there. Smoke bomb! <laughs> ah! You saw nothing. We all just saw that, right? I, I didn't like hallucinate Ninja Ivor. Nah. -uh. Just when I thought that crusty dude couldn't get any weirder. And we're ready to roll. Come on, guys. Looks like the compass.
compass is pointing right to that building. Oh, good. It only sounds like there are a few thousand big scary people between us and there. Halt! You there! What business have you? I, uh, think we need to go into that building behind you. If that's okay! Uh, you know, it is in fact not okay, okay? Now just move along, and don't go anywhere near the building, or we will sick our army on you. Or we'll sick our army on you. Wouldn't want to unleash the force of our army. And it's a mighty army. I fought creepers, zombies, a giant computer, a wither storm. Bring out your army. We can take it. You are not leaving. <laughs> you will regret not leaving after you've tasted the wrath of our mighty army. <laughs> It's not weird. The army just, just, uh, took a power nap. Now they're stronger than ever. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to their nap. Yeah. We're not going to ask you again, all right? You just skedaddle before our well-rested army makes you regret it. We're gearing up. Yeah, it's the biggest army you've ever heard right here. Was that an audio disc? You're an audio disc. Yeah, what kind of morons would have a jukebox sitting just out of you behind the city's parapets? <laughs> Fine. You have outfoiled us. We don't have an armory. Mm, yeah, I know, but uh, still can't let you in. Sorry. Really, it's for your own good. That building you're pointing at? That's Romeo's challenge. Yeah. It's nothing more than a death trap. The worst kind of trap. Which is why we vowed to keep everyone out. Even relentless travelers like you. I mean, you should thank us for keeping you away from it, okay? We're doing you a solid. We're here to defeat Romeo and stop all of his challenges. Help us help you. Uh, help us. Yeah! Logically, we're helping you more than you're helping us, which wouldn't help us help you, but helping us would help us help you more than you've ever helped anyone, so... Ah, my brain hurts. I can't argue with your word magic. Open the gate! On it! No, Soup, the, the gate. Yeah, the real gate. Right! On it! Weird llama. What are they doing? Negotiating terms. Uh -huh. <gasps> oh, you've got a pet llama too. Yeah, she's my pet. We've got a real bond. Yeah, oh, so I can see. <laughs> this place is a wasteland. Yeah, uh, having a town where everyone enters a mysterious challenge room that never comes out will do that. I, uh, <laughs> suppose that, uh, might affect population levels a little. Uh, we still don't feel good about permitting you in the challenge room, especially unarmed. But we'll trade you some gear if you can build something to scare off future unwanted visitors. You know, like a snowman or a huge flower. Just <sighs> make something that will help us strike fear into the hearts of all who would see it. Keep people off our backs. Something to give us a little me time.
Oh, wow. That will give me nightmares. <laughs> well done. Yes. Wonderfully horrifying. Organized, not alphabetized, not even sorted by material? This is barbaric! This is what we managed to salvage from the goop balls. Uh, I mean, residents who tried entering? Treasure sniffing llama, eh? <clears throat> Let's see what you found, Luna. Sniffing. How come you didn't sniff that out? <sighs> now that is armor fit for a challenge room. It's so shiny, you can see yourself defeating the challenge room. these waterfalls upstairs it's so calculated so precise judging by the multiple pressure plates there's some complex engineering behind these walls wouldn't expect anything less from the guy who made an icy palace of despair I think this was meant for the three friends Romeo Zara and Fred how do you guys feel about pulling some mystery levers and seeing what happens this just for his friends? Are you ready for the most thrilling, death-defying, heart-pounding challenge you've ever experienced? into this, so... So maybe those three levers will stop it. Come on, Radar. Let's bust that machine.
Radar, you have to break the machine. I'll cover you. On it! Quickly. Why do I even keep asking?
Wow. This is the first place down here that looks alive. Oh, oh, perfect. Huh. Oh. I'll meet you over there. I'm gonna go take a look around. looking doesn't seem to be anybody around nobody inside should be safe safe ish let's just get that weapon and get out of here remember I used to read all the time now I barely do things change yeah. It's like the one we used to have back at the treehouse. Tell someone you broke it. Uh huh. <sighs> Petra? What's wrong? Uh, n nothing. It just reminds me of uh, this, this story about puppies. Really sad story. You know me, I can't help crying about dumb stuff like that. Puppies, little chickens. I get it. Puppies always make me cry, too. Their cute little faces. Their little wagging tails. They're stupid, I mean, uh, paws? <sighs> it's not the puppies. Doesn't this remind you of anything? Our friends? We used to hang out in that treehouse all the time. Now, we barely talk. Why does this keep happening? Everyone leaves and I'm, I'm just by myself again. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I see them one by one, just... Not everyone leaves, Petra. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, but maybe that's the problem. What if I want to go somewhere that isn't Beacon Town? I'll just be alone again. Axel and Olivia are barely around. Who knows how much longer Jack's gonna stay with us. Didn't take long for the new Order of the Stone to fall apart, did it? My fault for thinking it would be different. Held together longer than most. Just because we have our own lives doesn't mean we aren't friends. We still care about each other. They'd be here if they cared. I, I know this isn't important right now. Let's just find the weapon and get out of here. Something's not right here. The beds don't go with the banners? Always like the color blue, something peaceful about it. for Zara.
another one of Fred's journals. Dear Zara, if you're reading this, I'm already gone. I hid this in the one place I knew you would look for it. Fitting the key to ending all this would be here, where it all started. This is the key to defeating Romeo. It says, hashtag potato451. Potato? That's the weapon? What are, what are we supposed to do with potato? That's not a weapon. It's a root vegetable. I don't care how silly it sounds, as long as it works. Yeah, I guess. Just... Potato? Or, sorry, I meant hashtag potato451. Take this word of passage and use it at the primary terminal. You can take away his power and end this. Word of passage, huh? I guess that's the potato. I still have hope for Romeo. He just wanted us to stay together more than anything. I know that's why he's doing this. Maybe I'm being foolish, but I need to know for sure before taking this step. Though I guess if you're here, I got my answer. Maybe someday we'll be together again. Your friend always, Fred. I kind of feel bad for them. Don't you? Yeah, I feel kind of bad for them, too. This wasn't easy for any of the admins. They really cared about each other. Everyone talks about Romeo like he was this controlling monster, but... Fred wrote that Romeo just wanted to keep them together, more than anything. Isn't that what I've been doing? Especially to you? I don't want you to feel forced to keep doing something you don't want to. I don't want to be that person. Or, or make you feel scared to tell me the truth. You are nothing like the admin. Don't compare yourself to him. Even he didn't start out that way. It just got bad. I don't want to cross that line, too. I've been thinking a lot about what you said. Adventuring is what I'm good at. It's where I belong. Not in Beacon Town. But I don't want to... lose you. You mean... A lot to me, Jesse. I... More than anyone else, you've been there. And I... I don't want to leave if it means... I'll be right there with you, Petra. You think your place is out there, then so is mine. <laughs> Thank you. I always knew you were a big ol' softy. <laughs> You'll never be able to prove it. We'll see. We'd better get that book back to the portal. Right. Let's go stop the admin. His days of being Jesse are over. Call the others. We're getting out of here. What do you think you're doing? The portal is hidden for a reason. To keep things away. We're still missing Jack, and this is how we get him back with us. Right. That won't be a burden. Sounding pretty adminish there, Zara. The weapon is what we need, not bodies to throw at the problem. People just complicate things. Make everything messy. Inefficient. No one, no one gets left behind, ever. I mean, that's not a Exactly true. You did leave that villager in my cell when we left the prison. But we we needed... 
Well, from now on, then. Might be your downfall, waiting on others. Better be careful about that. As you can see, the portal's fully functional. You complete your end? Yep, I think this should send us home. And there's Fred's weapon. Potato. Hmm. Weird, right? I, I thought it was weird. Fred trusted him. He went to Romeo with the best of intentions and was... was... Ugh. There is no redemption in Romeo. None. He needs to be stopped once and for all. He deserves it. Worse. For this and everything else. It's the only way. You know that's not what Fred would have wanted. No, you're right. But Fred is dead because of his heart. Something else has to be tried. But heroes are supposed to help people, not hurt them. Romeo deserves what's coming to him. Fred should be avenged. Fred was the best of us, cut down. I can't let it stand. Romeo did awful things. We'll make sure he pays for them. Glad to hear it. I'm not. Romeo destroyed my world, and I wasn't there to help it. He's stolen it from me. There is no rebuilding. I have nothing now. It's really over. Here, I found this, and there are good things left if you look for them. That you would... I... I'm not used to being wrong. Thank you. But we still need to move forward. <sighs> All right. Let's get this over with. Hand over that trinket of yours. Uh, Jesse?
Mystery portals ever. I'm with the llama. <laughs> Is everyone all right? It's the old order's temple. We did it. We're back. 
<laughs> Radar would be flipping out if he were here right now. Standing where the great hero stood, this is amazing! Spot on impression. I mean, come on. You know he'd be all over historical Order of the Stone sites. He'll make it back to us. He'll just be a little... Late? Sure. Bet that'll bother him, too. <laughs> He's always on time. Jesse, we are endlessly grateful to your friend for what he did for us. We'd thank him if we could. We didn't know if we'd ever see the sky again. Did you see that? Okay, somebody tell me I'm losing it. Is that... Beacon Town. were over I was content to let life pass me by that is until a young hero came along with a glint in their eye they said Jack do you think you can give me a hand for mine is trapped in a glove from the sea I thought I had left the seas behind but the seas came a calling for me It's a lonely road for a hero, the road is a bittersweet friend, for the road is cold and it's hollow, but it's all you'll have left in the end. Sure there is glory in my tragic backstory, but that is not why I'm small, for nothing Shoulders like regrets, big as boulders, as sure as the grief takes its toll. I'm thankful my arms are so ripped, or I'd been crushed from the start. And I'm grateful my pecs are so jacked to hold the pain of my broken heart. My friends' faces, they'll never leave me So I wrote them this sad serenade For the curse of a memory that's perfect Is that those faces, they'll never fade <laughs> That's in my eye <clears throat> It's a lonely road for a hero But I won't be alone at its end For I will wait in the shadows until Jesse, man, is it good to see you. Where are the others? 